30 seconds it's not too much of a big deal but you definitely want to get these spawns this map is extremely long spawning out is quite a trek to get to the next hill and i think it's link you'll be watching who will who will be making these moves for spawns maybe over at this uh shower area and it is number seven who's heading over there for the, the uh, there for the um frost lineup and there's another kill for uh for stitchy and it's it's a good start all red in the kill feed so far only only two kills going frost's way and how big, how big is this hill time? making some plays here in the hill. Well, you know what? This is more of a contested hill, but Stitchy is doing a huge job here. He's got three kills. He's got the time as well. And he's really making it hard for Frost to play. This is his fourth kill as well. And this is meant to be a contested hill. And he has gone back down now. I've hopped over with Crispy now, who is on a one streak. And we'll see what he can do. Um, and he has lost spawns for his team here. And how big is this now for the Nexus squad? Going into the next well, hill. you know, Nexus, they're about 20 points up, as you guys can see. And if they have, well, they've got spawns now, and that's going to play a huge part in this game. We could see a really one-sided match if they hold these spawns. And if you're, uh, if you're Frost now, how are you looking at uh, breaking this hard point and potentially getting the rack onto the next hill? They really want to try and play for spawns and push as a team. They can't be getting picked on their own. They need to wait, push as a team, and get the job done. If they keep getting picked on their own. They're not going to break this hill and the Nexus are going to have all the time. And as you can see on screen now, Crispy is at the back of this hill and they have broken it after a double kill from Pluxy, which is huge for the team. And we'll see what he can do. Now on a free streak, picking up that kill in the hill, trading out his teammate Crispy. And uh, potentially this could be some big time for the Frost side, getting them back into the game against the Nexus. Exactly. This is what you want to see from a uh, Frost. They're uh, competing very well and, you know, they're, they're getting this scrap time here. They need to think about the next hill soon. The Nexus are pushing. They can hold him on one time and this will be an equal game. And Pluxy with Pluxy another two piece. Pluxy with the turn on, that was nice. And Heskey's uncle was the man who uh, slayed him down there. And three and four, he has the worst KD. But as you can see from the scoreboard, and Nexus are completely out slaying right now. Um, actually, looking at it, they're only two kills, two kills positive, but it has made a big difference in the scoreline to start off this game. On board it the has complex made a now. huge difference. Has made a huge difference. Stitchy started the game four and only. He's now six and five. So we're seeing him slow down as the game goes on, and I'm hoping for him to, you know, get back into it and get a few more kills soon. And who's your main man so far for this, um, for this Nexus side? Who's making it happen for him? Oh, uh, you got to put it out there, Stitchy. You know, off that first hit was huge, but Link, as you can see, eight and four, double positive. He's got 13 seconds himself. He is getting the kills. He's making sure it's done. But we need Stitchy to, you know, go off as he usually does. So if they have any chance of winning this game. And if you're in Nexus right now, what top, what sort of time frame are you looking at rotating and potentially giving up on this hill? Uh, right now. Right now. It's 12 seconds left. They should have rotated already. And this could be big time for Frost coming into this next hill. And you can see Rex here already set up. And he is mowing down a, a Nexus link there. And straight away, this is looking very positive for the Frost side going into this, um, going into this new hill, which is the commission. Commissary. Yeah, Rex just picked two of them, but Stuart's just picked him off, and that's actually quite huge for Stuart there and a the Nexus. That could help them get spawns. And Crispy does pick up a kill there in security. And oh, Stuart gets killed back pad, which is very big for this side, holding them spawns, and it could potentially be big time for them. Definitely, Stuart doing a huge job back there holding spawns, and this is going to be huge for a Nexus. There's another one there, and he's been picked off by Puxy. Although you do see uh, Frost there, they did have a good bite of the cherry. They pushed uh, four players through at the same time. Unfortunately for them, they did get, just get outslayed again by an excess, and it's been the story of the day, hasn't it? I mean, yeah, slightly, but we, we look at the KDs, and it's not extremely one-sided. This is a close game. All Frost need to do is make sure they get the spawns for one of these money hills. Uh, it's it's going to be back to uh, an even game. But do you think um, a Nexus are getting the more important kills, say the kills around the hill, rather than just the ones, say, mid-map, or the ones that don't count as much? Definitely. As you saw a minute ago, Stuart, what's he do? He breaks the um, he breaks the guy holding spawns, then he holds him himself, and he think he goes on like a four streak there. That was huge from Stuart earlier for that third hill. So those kind of kills in those important situations are going to be huge for both teams. And Link with another two-piece there. He has had a fire. He's been on fire so far this game. Like you said previously, he is their lead slayer, so you will be looking at him to drop numbers. I think uh, if you don't have 25, 30 kills this game, he'll be disappointed in himself. 
Yeah, I know, I know Link personally. He always has the goal of getting over 30 kills. He expects a lot from himself, and that's very good if, if he's on your team. You expect him to get the kills, he expects himself to get the kills, and it's just a very confident mindset. But right now, there's not one player that is... Uh is letting down this Anexa side and I think that's the reason they are they are doing so well as a team. You look at Complex from this um, from this Frost side and he's only 5 and 12. Maybe if he had a few more kills it could be a completely different story. Yeah, you know what, Anexa have been playing very well. Everyone on the team, they've done their job very well and it's working for them. They've got a decent lead to show for it. They just need to hold on, they should be able to close this out. And we've talked about it a few times uh, recently. You just see this Anexus squad completely out rotating the Frost team, and I think that's the reason they could be in the lead. Do you reckon this is down to the fact that Frost are using two pickups this series? I mean, definitely. That's what I'm looking at here. I mean, when you're playing with pickups, the communication isn't obviously 100%. So, you know, they're not playing with their main roster, and this is definitely affecting them. And we will head over to Complex now, who is one of the players who is actually on this um, on this Frost team permanently. So, if you're Frost, you may be looking at him him picking up. I mean, Pluxy and Rex and Rex are their two pickups, and I mean they're they're arguably their two best players right now. Well, they're getting the job done. You know, they're both negative, but they're obviously getting involved in gunfights. I mean, 15 to 16. You know, they're getting into quite a lot of gunfights here, and that's what you want to see: get involved and try and make plays. As you see now, Stuart looking over this hill, trying to stop this push here from Frost. And any time he can buy her, it's big time for his team as they look to get up into the hill. But it looks as though they're going to be out slain and lose this out and lose out to Frost here. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, they've lost out in the hill. But Nexus needs to think. Look, we've still got spawns. This hill, this hill is important. But you know what? Spawns for the next hill is more important. Make sure we hold these spawns and try and win the game from there. And if you're Frost right now, you are looking and saying, look, we've got this time advantage, maybe maybe give away 20 seconds, get this early rotate and uh, potentially pick up some time on the next hill to uh, go on and win this game. Definitely, from Complex there, he goes into med bay, tries to get a pick, but I don't understand what they're doing. There were 20 seconds, I'd definitely be looking at rotating. This next hill is huge and it will determine how this game goes. And I'm on board with Stuart now and he has been holding this back area for a while now. And he is an intelligent player, isn't he, Sam? Yeah, he's a very smart player. He's been playing for years now. He knows what he's doing. He's many like he's like a veteran. He's been playing for years, spent four years now. He knows how to get the job done. He's basically the anchor for this team, and he's doing a very good job. Spawns have been on their side, and a huge part of it goes to Stuart 1402. And Link there with another two-piece, and he's just lighting up this stage right now. Definitely, I think we need to give Link some more cast time. I mean, he is on fire, 23 to 13. You know, he'll be looking to hopefully get into the 30s, but his team might not allow him to do it. Look at this lead here. They're trying to close this out very soon. And I think that's uh, that's key because you've seen comebacks before, like, all the time. And Stu picks up a uh, a big two-piece in that hill there. And you, But you've seen it happen so many times. Teams coming back into games which they shouldn't be allowed back into. So I think just closing out this game would be important for a Nexus and it would be a big boost going, to, going into the S&D. Definitely. It happens time and time again. It's always happening. You know, teams make comebacks. Teams get complacent. You need to go 100 every time you're playing and you don't want to get complacent. There's only 25 points to get. And Nexus, I'm looking for them to close this down in the next two hills. I reckon they could close it out here if they have a good hill and we will help he head over to Stitchy who is sitting in the hill right now and he's just looking to pick up kills for his team but Rex again for this frost side he gets a big two piece and keeps him in the game for a while. Well you know Stitchy's doing a huge job, you look at his kills it's not too impressive you know 19 to 18 but it's good enough, look at his time in hill he's doing all the dirty work managing to go positive as well this is what you want from your OBJ. And it looks like they could close it out here and Frost have kept them off. So that is big plays. There's two seconds left. But you could rule them out, but it's not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over, but it's basically as good as done with two points left. I can't see a Nexus not picking it up on and the next And the Nexus hill. have this jail, this jail half point on lock. And there we go. That's game over and well played from a Nexus as a whole there. Well played as a whole. Everyone played their role completely well. Stitchy getting that time. Link, as usual, slaying very well. And Stuart, very impressed, actually. He held the spawns phenomenally that, that game. He was playing so well, and it, it was perfect. And who is your MVP for that game?